Amos. Welcome to Old Testament Thursday. Our Old Testament reading for Sunday is from Amos. Uh, so we're invited to, uh, as we are most Thursdays, to um, get a little preview in Devotion from Christ in Our Home. So if you want to find your way to Amos chapter 6 this week, um, these uh, more challenging texts in the lectionary that oftentimes fall offers for us continue. Amos, we're just going to start with a little snippet of one, and then we're going to jump to verse four. So uh, just note that here as we start, but I'll invite you to join me and dwell for a few minutes here in God's word. Alas, for those who are at ease in Zion and for those who feel secure on Mount Samaria. Must be that we then skip at that point um, there to four, which says then, here we go. Alas, for those who lie on beds of ivory and lounge on their couches and eat lambs from the flock and calves from the stall, who sing idle songs to the sound of the harp and like David improvise on instruments of music, who drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the finest oils, but are not grieved over the ruin of Joseph. Therefore they shall now be the first to go into exile, and the revelry of the loungers shall pass away. Word of God, word of life, may it stir you today. And let's uh, listen to our devotion together. If you want to read along from Christ in Our Home on this September 22nd, freed to dot dot dot, inviting our focus to that first little bit of the verse. One there, alas, for those who are at ease. Um, some versions of the Bible relate these verses to complacency and self-indulgence. They convict me. I'm often complacent and self-indulgent. My needs are aptly met, while many of my neighbors' needs are scarcely met. There's much more I could and should do. Beyond this text, Martin Luther's teachings convict me. In Freedom of a Christian, Luther clarifies that we are fully freed by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. However, we are not freed to do whatever we want. We are freed into, uh, we're freed to loving, ser lovingly serve our neighbors. In the small catechism, Luther's explanations of the Ten Commandments expand our understanding. Uh, for example, regarding the Fifth Commandment, you shall not murder, he adds, so that we neither endanger nor harm the lives of our neighbors, but instead help and support them in all of life's needs. Amos, chapter 6, verses 4 through 6, explains how not to live. Luther, on the other hand, explains how we are to live, using our freedom to serve one another. Invitation to pray together here. God of abundance, forgive me. Help me to use my freedom to love and serve my neighbors. Amen. As this day unfolds before you, loving and serving your neighbor, be invited to pray for people experiencing daily food insecurity. And may God continue to hold you and bless you on your journey. We'll look forward to gathering for worship uh, at 9 o'clock on Sunday. We'll be here uh, live streaming our, our worship from our lawn. One more week here. As, uh, the weather looks like it's going to be great. Uh, and then um, we'll worship at 1045 uh, for those in town as well. So God bless you and God hold you. And we'll look forward to uh, continuing to share this journey together in life and faith.